Yes, you read that right. The past few days, I've made $25,000 with Shopify dropshipping, and I honestly can't believe it. How? Hold on, bro. It's only been one and a half years since I started, but this business has completely changed my life. And the margins on this store are pretty insane. Let me teach you how I did it so you can copy it step by step. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna show you my dashboard. So here we are, as you can see, 24.9, 25,000, let's say, this past week. It has honestly been insane. I have never had this many sales per day. I was used to having like maybe 1K a day, but as we can see right here, I've had back to back 4K, 5K, 4K, 5K, just back to back, which is crazy. I'm pretty proud of myself and I'm very stoked about the store. So yes, now let's just get into how I did this. The first thing I needed was a product. And for this store, I went with one of my favorite strategies, which has worked so well for me and it's my go-to method right now. I've been doing product research on my Instagram feed. So I just started scrolling for around 10 minutes. And as you know, this platform is full of ads and also reels. Instagram has been pushing reels a lot. So every two, three posts, you get a reel. So, and the best thing about this is that you can optimize it to your favor. So whenever I got an e-commerce type reel, a dropshipping product reel, I would start engaging with the content. You're just simply optimizing your algorithm and it just works really, really well. After a couple of minutes, my entire homepage was full of just dropshipping products. So what I did was just scroll for some minutes and send myself my favorite products. And then after some time, I chose my favorites so my product is in the pain relief niche that's all i'm gonna say about it for now but just to give an example i'm gonna show you this pepe product so that you can use the exact strategy that i've used myself so as you can see right here on instagram i'm always sending myself drop shipping products that i think are good so yeah i'm gonna give you an example with this pepe product that i found recently that i think it's really really good so as we can see right here it's just a pepe plushie and it's just a very, very funny video. The reason why I think this product is really good is because I understand the trend. I think something people don't talk about a lot in dropshipping is trend analysis and understanding your market. So a couple of months ago, there was this Po product, Po, Poo product, I don't know, which looks like a poop. It's just like a very popular like old game that got turned into a plushie and it went super viral and now the same thing is happening with Pepe so I found this product which I think is great so as you can see right here this account is doing super well they have 72,000 followers right now huh? and a lot of engagement in their videos even though right now my Instagram is bugged and it just shows me zero on everything but trust me and if we go to their store it's really good we can see clear pictures of the products these people probably took the pictures themselves just to make it like super kind of funny just showing pepe in like different locations they have the bundles to get more products and yeah just a typical drop shipping product very short description doesn't have a logo honestly you guys can do a lot better if you rip off this product so now let me show you how i stole the concept for my product that i found and made a ton of money but before that i had to find a product on aliexpress first but this is just very simple you can just look up the name of your product or just a description of it in this case i will look up pepe the frog plush or pepe plush it should come up pretty easily you can also do reverse search on Google. And as we can see, it's right here, $8, $9 almost, pretty cheap. You have the female version too, which is pretty fun. And now another very important thing that I had to take care of before stealing the concept and just making a ton of money with my store was to get a supplier and obviously import my product to my store. So how I did this is I used AutoDS. You guys know I always talk about AutoDS because it has become my go-to tool for dropshipping. I cannot do anything without them, honestly. So in this platform, you can import products to your store. You can do product research. You have a ton of suppliers. You can also do print on demand, so many things. So how I used it for this store specifically is after I found my product on Aliexpress, which in case would be this one as an example, I copy the link and then I go 
go on AutoDS. So right here on AutoDS, you can click on add products, single product, and then you can enter the URL of the product from AliExpress. You have many other options as you can see right here. Let's say if you want to start dropshipping a product from CJ Dropshipping, you can do it. Amazon, Target, eBay, Alibaba, DHgate, Shein. There's so many options, which is so cool. But yeah, I just went with AliExpress, so just paste a link. And you can also start editing it. If you click on edit now, you're gonna see here that all of the descriptions and everything from AliExpress is just immediately imported into AutoDS. So you can just change the name of the product, change the description, or you can do it later on Shopify. You have those two options, which is amazing. So this is exactly what I did. So I was able to get my product imported into my store and also then be able to source for better suppliers. So if you guys wanna try AutoDS for yourself, I will leave a link in the description that will give you a 30 day free trial. So now let's get to what I did to copy the concept and create my own store. It was pretty simple. I just completely ripped them off. I copied pretty much everything, but obviously you should always see where there's room for improvement. You always wanna be better than your competitors. So if we keep going with the Pepe example, like I said, the store, they don't have a logo. The description is pretty boring, just two pictures. Nothing very interesting. Pretty boring, just two pictures. Nothing very interesting. Here you can see the colors that come with the Shopify theme, which is, in my opinion, very unprofessional. So there's a couple of things that you can improve and make better for your own store. And another thing I did is I targeted a specific country that was in the US. In this case, I went with Canada. I need the max win. Where the ad costs are a bit lower. I obviously changed a few words on the websites, a couple of pictures. I turned some videos that I found on AliExpress as well as on TikTok into GIFs and came up with a perfect landing page. I knew this product was good, but 25,000 in a week is something I never imagined. Now this shows that the product is almost everything. My store wasn't even that good. Just somewhat of a copy of my competitors and obviously the right ads. The store I copied was running the product in the athlete niche though, helping people recover from back pain for exercise, exercise related injuries. But in my experience, I think that's a very hard niche to target. And when I tracked the store, they were making a lot of money too. So there was no point trying to beat them in that niche. I simply customized my videos to fit an older demographic instead and adjusted the age section of Facebook. And in a second, I'll show you the exact Facebook ad strategy I use. It works very well for me and my students. And by the way, if you want to work with me personally one-on-one, -on -one, I actually have a mentorship, which I share about sometimes on Instagram, not really on YouTube ever. But the results have been really, really good so far. I have been only running it for a couple of months and it has just been crazy. Feel free to send me a DM on Instagram if you would like to work one-on-one -on -one with me. So how did I advertise my product? Well, it was really simple and anyone can do it. So let me show you. And by the way, while running the store, I actually encountered a huge problem, which could have ended up in negatives, but more on that later. Okay, so we are in the Facebook ads manager, as we can see right here. So I'm in the ad set section. What I did pretty much is just, first of all, for my conversion event, I went with purchase. I went with an ABO with a daily budget of $10 for each of my ad sets. I scheduled it to start at midnight. And for the audience selection, I obviously went with Canada, as I told you. And for the detailed targeting, I was targeting interests such as 70s music. Now you may think, what does that have to do with a back pain relief product. Well, I wanted to target older people. So I know older people like 70s music. So that's a good way to find interest as you don't go with the obvious ones that everyone used. So another thing I did is I went with the suggestions right here. Facebook gives you a lot of good interest suggestions. So here, there are some really good ones, like for example, the Beatles. Uh, they're mostly music related. Don't use too many interests that are very similar but this is just as an example, Elton John. And I also went with some basic interests like massage, chiropractor, 
etc. And for the placements, I went with Advantage Plus. Now, if you guys would like me to do a video related with Facebook, let me know in the comments. Now, my best performing audiences were rather surprising. Like I said, people usually go with the very common audiences like healthcare, exercise, posture, back problems, and things like that. However, I decided to take another approach. Nearly everyone above the age of 40 to 50 have experienced or are experiencing problems with muscle pain. And for that exact same reason, I targeted things such as, like I said, 70s music and things that all people like. And also another thing that I think is worth mentioning is that the reason why I went with Facebook is because products with an older audience work better there. I was able to reach the same audience as my competitor without really having to compete with them. And this is what allowed me to scale past 5k a day. Once I found my winning audiences, I simply just increased the budgets on my winning ad sets and tested more similar audiences. I did everything I could to stand out and be different than the competitor. I targeted a new country, changed my website up, my whole audience was also unique and different. And also something that I think is worth mentioning is the domain I used, which is the dot .store domain. Most stores don't have that uniqueness and I found that the biggest stores have a dot .store domain, which is exactly what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to become as big as possible. I can also get it a lot cheaper than every other domain and for the past couple of months this has been my go-to and from my experience I've noticed a big increase in my conversion rate. So the way you can do this as always is to go to dot .store domains. Here you can search the domain that you want. I'm just gonna put the example of Kate is the best dot store. And as we can see right here, you're gonna get all of your different options and you also get the availability here as available so you can just add it to cart. And I happen to have a great offer for you guys this time. And as you may or may not know, I've been working with dot store for a long time. So I have a really good offer for you guys as I genuinely recommend this domain. I've had only good experiences with them. So if you go to the checkout section, you can use the code Kate free and you will get a completely free dot store domain. So this is really literally a steal since they're the best domain you can have and you get it for free. So you guys better get to it before this offer is gone and get your dot store domain with the link in the description. So other things I do as well to stand out and to get this result is I go through a lot of videos to find the perfect ones. I do a lot of research. Don't just stick with the same video ads always. You can test different creatives as well as just try to find different videos. Don't just find videos on TikTok. Look up on YouTube. There's people that do reviews of products like this. Facebook, there's so many ways you can find videos on the web of these products. So yes, everything was going so well that something really bad happened. Facebook actually shut my account down and things turned out really bad overnight. Now, this is something you guys might have experienced as well. This is one of the downsides of Facebook, but it is possible to recover from it. I suspected that the video ads were the reason. Half of them got disapproved for either one. Showing too much skin. Hi, Steven or two, seeming over-promising. I made so many different variations until I found the one that didn't give me issues, but it was all worth it. In a couple of hours, my account was active again, but it's scary how fast things can change. You can be doing super well, but from one second to the other, Facebook can shut down your account, something bad happens, and you're back to zero. So always be careful. So that's pretty much everything I did and how I ended up with this results. I'm still working on this store, and like I said, I'm very proud. I feel like you guys have seen my progress over the past few months. As you guys know, I've been doing this for only like a year and a half and I didn't really get super into it until not so long ago. So I feel like we're growing together. If you guys want to learn more about me and my ecom journey, you can follow me on my Instagram where I'm always giving you updates on my life as well as my stores. And you can also subscribe to this channel because I post e-commerce videos every single week.